Sonnet One of the Holy Sonnets. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Michael Armenta. Thou hast made me, and shall thy work decay? Repair me now, for now mine end doth haste. I run to death, and death meets me as fast, and all my pleasures are like yesterday. I dare not move my dim eyes any way, despair behind, and death before doth cast such terror and my feeble flesh doth waste by sin in it which it towards hell doth weigh only thou art above and when towards thee by thy leaf i can look i rise again but our old subtle foe so tempteth me that not one hour myself i can sustain thy grace may wing me to prevent his art and thou like adamant draw mine iron heart end of sonnet one this recording is in the public domain sonnet two of the holy sonnets by john dunn Read for LibriVox.org by Michael Armenta. As due by many titles, I resign myself to thee, O God. First I was made by thee and for thee, and when I was decayed, by blood bought that the which before was thine. I am thy son, made with thyself to shine thy servant whose pains thou hast still repaid thy sheep thine image and till i betrayed myself a temple of thy spirit divine why doth the devil then usurp on me why doth he steal nay ravish that's thy right except thou rise and for thine own work fight Oh, I shall soon despair when I do see that thou lovest mankind well, yet wilt not choose me. And Satan hates me, yet is loth to lose me. End of Sonnet 2 This recording is in the public domain. Sonnet 3 of the holy sonnet by john donne read for librivox dot org by michael armenta o oh, might those sighs and tears return again into my breast and eyes which i have spent that i might in this holy discontent mourn with some fruit as i have mourned in vain in mine idolatry what showers of rain mine eyes did waste what griefs my heart did rent that sufferance was my sin now i repent cause i did suffer i must suffer pain the hydroptic drunkard and night scouting thief the itchy lecher and self-tickling proud have the remembrance of past joys for relief of coming ills to poor me is allowed no ease for long yet vehement grief hath been the effect and cause the punishment and sin end of sonnet three this recording is in the public domain Sonnet four of the Holy Sonnets by John Donne. Read for LibriVox dot org by Michael Armenta. Oh, my black soul, 
now thou art summoned by sickness death's herald and champion thou art like a pilgrim which abroad hath done treason and durst not turn to whence he has fled or like a thief which till death's doom be read wisheth himself delivered from prison but damned and haled to execution wisheth that still he might be imprisoned yet grace if thou repent thou canst not lack but who shall give thee that grace to begin o oh, make thyself with holy mourning black and red with blushing as thou art with sin or wash thee in christ's blood which hath this might that being red it dyes red souls to white end of sonnet four this recording is in the public domain sonnet five of the holy sonnet by john dunn read for librivox dot org by michael armenta i am a little world made cunningly of elements and an angelic sprite but black sin hath betrayed to endless night my world's both parts and oh both parts must die you which beyond that heaven which was most high have found new spheres and of new lands can write poor new seas in mine eyes that so i might drown my world with my weeping earnestly or wash it if it must be drowned no more but oh it must be burnt alas the fire of lust and envy have burnt it heretofore and made it fouler let their flames retire and burn me o lord with a fiery zeal of thee and thy house which doth in eating heal end of sonnet five this recording is in the public domain sonnet six of the holy sonnets by john dunn read for librivox dot org by michael armenta this is my play's last scene here heavens appoint my pilgrimage's last mile and my race idly yet quickly run hath this last pace my span's last inch my minute's latest point and gluttonous death will instantly unjoint my body and soul and i shall sleep a space but my ever waking part shall see that face whose fear already shakes my every joint then as my soul to heaven her first seat takes flight and earth-born body in the earth shall dwell so fall my sins that all may have their right to wear their bread and would press me to hell impute me righteous thus purged of evil for thus i leave the world the flesh the devil end of sonnet six this recording is in the public domain. Sonnet seven of the Holy Sonnets by John Donne. Read for LibriVox.org by Michael Armenta. At the round earth's imagined corners, blow your trumpets, angels and arise arise from death you numberless infinities of souls and to your scattered bodies go all whom the flood did and fire shall o'erthrow all whom war death's age 
agues, tyrannies, despair, law, chance hath slain, and you whose eyes shall behold God and never taste death's woe. But let them sleep, Lord, and me mourn a space, for if above all these my sins abound, tis late to ask abundance of thy grace when we are there. Here, on this lowly ground, teach me how to repent, for that's as good as if thou hadst sealed my pardon with thy blood. End of Sonnet 7 This recording is in the public domain. Sonnet 8 of The Holy Sonnets by John Donne Read for LibriVox.org by Michael Armenta If faithful souls be alike glorified as angels, then my father's soul doth see, and adds this even to full felicity, that valiantly I hell's wide mouth or stride, but if our minds to these souls be descried by circumstances, and by signs that be apparent in us not immediately, how shall my mind's white truth by them be tried? They see idolatrous lovers weep and mourn, and vile blasphemous conjurers to call on Jesus' name, and pharisaical dissemblers feign devotion, then turn, O pensive soul, to God, for he knows best thy true grief, for he put it in my breast. End of Sonnet 8 This recording is in the public domain. Sonnet 9 of The Holy Sonnets by John Donne. Read for LibriVox.org by Michael Armenta. If poisonous minerals, and if that tree whose fruit threw death on else immortal, us, if lecherous goats, if serpents envious cannot be damned, alas, why should I be? Why should intent or reason? born in me make sins else equal in me more heinous and mercy being easy and glorious to god in his stern wrath why threatens he but who am i that dare dispute with thee o god o oh, of thine only worthy blood and my tears make a heavenly lathian flood and drown in it my sin's black memory that thou remember them some claim as debt i think it mercy if thou wilt forget end of sonnet nine this recording is in the public domain Sonnet ten of the Holy Sonnets by John Donne, read for LibriVox.org by Michael Armenta. Death, be not proud, though some have called thee mighty and dreadful, for thou art not so. For those whom thou thinkst thou dost overthrow die not, poor death, nor yet canst thou kill me from rest and sleep which but thy pictures be much pleasure then from thee much more must flow and soonest our best men with thee do go rest of their bones and souls delivery thou art slave to fate chance kings and desperate men and dost with poison, war, and sickness dwell, and poppy or charms can make us sleep as well 
and better than thy stroke. Why swell'st thou then? One short sleep past, we wake eternally, and death shall be no more. Death, thou shalt die. End of Sonnet 10 This recording is in the public domain. Sonnet 11 of The Holy Sonnet by John Donne Read for LibriVox.org by Michael Armenta Spit in my face, you choose, and pierce my side. Buffet and scoff, scourge and crucify me, for I have sinned, and sin, and only he who could do no iniquity hath died but by my death cannot be satisfied my sins, which pass the Jews' impiety. They killed once an inglorious man, but I crucify him daily, being now glorified. O oh, let me then his strange love still admire. King's pardon, but he bore our punishment, and jacob came clothed in vile harsh attire but to supplant and with gainful intent god clothed himself in vile man's flesh that so he might be weak enough to suffer woe end of sonnet eleven this recording is in the public domain Sonnet twelve of the Holy Sonnet by John Donne, read for LibriVox.org by Michael Armenta. Why are we by all creatures waited on? Why do the prodigal elements supply life and food to me, being more pure than I, simple and further from corruption? Why brookst thou? ignorant horse subjection why dost the bull and boar so sillily dissemble weakness and by one man's stroke die whose whole kind you might swallow and feed upon weaker i am woe is me and worse than you you have not sinned nor need be timorous but wonder at a greater wonder for to us created nature doth these things subdue but their creator whom sin nor nature tied for us his creatures and his foes hath died end of sonnet twelve this recording is in the public domain Sonnet thirteen of the Holy Sonnets by John Donne, read for LibriVox.org by Michael Armenta. What if this present were the world's last night? Mark in my heart, O soul, where thou dost dwell, the picture of Christ crucified, and tell whether that countenance can be a fright. Tears in his eyes quench the amazing light. Blood fills his frowns, which from his pierced head fell. And can that tongue adjudge thee unto hell, which prayed forgiveness for his foe's fierce spite? No, no. But as in my idolatry I said to all my profane mistresses, Beauty of pity. Foulness only is a sign of rigor. So I say to thee, To wicked spirits are horrid shapes assigned. This beauteous form assures a piteous mind. End of Sonnet 13 This recording is in the public domain. Sonnet 14 of The Holy Sonnets 
by John Donne, read for LibriVox.org by Michael Armenta. Batter my heart, three-personed God, for you as yet but knock, breathe, shine, and seek to mend, that I may rise and stand, or throw me and bend your force to break, blow, burn, and make me new. I, like an usurped town, to another due, labour to admit you, but, oh, to no end. Reason, your viceroy in me, me should defend, but is captived, and proves weak or untrue. Yet, dearly, I love you, and would be loved fain, but I am betrothed unto your enemy. Divorce me, untie, or break that knot again. Take me to you, imprison me, for I, except you enthrall me, never shall be free, nor ever chaste, except you ravish me. End of Sonnet 14 this recording is in the public domain. Sonnet 15 of The Holy Sonnets by John Donne Read for LibriVox.org by Michael Armenta Wilt thou love God as he thee? Then digest, my soul, this wholesome meditation, how God the spirit by angels waited on in heaven doth make his temple in thy breast the father having begot a son most blessed and still begetting for he ne'er begun hath deigned to choose thee by adoption co-heir to his glory and sabbath's endless rest and as a robbed man which by search doth find his stolen stuff sold, must lose or buy it again. The son of glory came down and was slain, us whom he had made, and Satan stole, to unbind. T'was much that man was made like God before, but that God should be made like man, much more. End of Sonnet 15 This recording is in the public domain. Sonnet 16 of The Holy Sonnets by John Donne Read for LibriVox.org by Michael Armenta Father, part of his double interest unto thy kingdom thy son gives to me, his jointure in the knotty trinity he keeps, and gives to me his death's conquest. This lamb, whose death with life the world hath blessed, was from the world's beginning slain, and he hath made two wills, which with the legacy of his and thy kingdom do thy sons invest. Yet... Such are thy laws, that men argue yet whether a man those statutes can fulfil. None doth, but all healing grace and spirit revive again what law and letter kill. Thy law's abridgment and thy last command is all but love. O oh, let this last will stand! End of Sonnet 16 this recording is in the public domain. Sonnet 17 of The Holy Sonnets by John Donne Read for LibriVox.org by Michael Armenta Since she, whom I loved, hath paid her last debt to nature and to hers, and my good is dead, and her soul early into heaven ravished, wholly on heavenly things my mind is set. Here, the admiring her, my mind did whet to seek thee, God, 
so streams do show their head but though i have found thee and thou my thirst hast fed a holy thirsty dropsy melts me yet but why should i beg more love when as thou dost woo my soul for hers offering all thine and dost not only fear mayst i allow my love to saints and angels things divine but in thy tender jealousy dost doubt least in the world flesh yea devil put thee out end of sonnet seventeen this recording is in the public domain sonnet eighteen of the holy sonnets by john dunn read for librivox dot org by michael armenta show me dear christ thy spouse so bright and clear what is it she which on the other shore goes richly painted or which robbed and tore laments and mourns in germany and here sleeps she a thousand then peeps up one year is she self truth and heirs now new now out war doth she and did she and shall she evermore on one on seven or on no hill appear dwells she with us or like adventuring knights first travail we to seek and then make love betray kind husband thy spouse to our sights and let mine amorous soul court thy mild dove who is most true and pleasing to thee then when she is embraced and open to most men End of sonnet eighteen this recording is in the public domain sonnet nineteen of the holy sonnets by john dunn read for librivox dot org by michael armenta o oh, to vex me contraries meet in one inconstancy unnaturally hath begot a constant habit that when i would not i change in vows and in devotion as humorous is my contrition as my profane love and as soon forgot as riddlingly distempered cold and hot as praying as mute as infinite as none i durst not view heaven yesterday and to-day in prayers and flattering speeches i court god to-morrow i quake with true fear of his rod so my devout fits come and go away like a fantastic ague save that here those are my best days when i shake with fear End of Sonnet 19 End of The Holy Sonnets by John Donne